Today is the 20th of January 2018. I'm at the CMT Trade Fair in Stuttgart. This is the Ixio i728G integrated motorhome. And this condition will cost nearly 90,000 euros. Although kickoff price is 75,000. It's on a Fiat Ducato multi jet, 96 horsepower, sorry, 130 horsepower, 96 kilowatt. It measures 749 times 232. Let's have a look inside. So this is got XPS isolation. We have here immediately, you can see there's a double floor. I'm really into double floors. Let's stick some stuff down there. The entrance um, cubby hole is more or less standard in all Burstner models. Incidentally, if you don't want to put your shoes under there, you can put them under here as you come in. Stick them down there under the chair. And take your shoes off there. And sit around the elegant table. And I'm going to sit in my favourite seat. There's a cushion here. Ooh. Oh, it's, I just had it's the key on the cushion. I think I'll take the cushion out. There we go. And that's nice. And I like to sit in these chairs, as you probably noticed in other films, so it gives me the feeling of um, motorhoming, camper van life, what's it all about? Uh, or in a hall, it's, uh, I can hear people with vacuum cleaners, but all the same, I'm in the van. And I'm looking back, and I think you might be interested just to see what the van looks like as I sit here. Right, we've got the lockers above. We've got two single yet joinable beds or bed at the back. We have got the television up there. To my left, there's no passenger door, but you don't need one. You've got this little thing there. You can stick all your uh, stuff in there. Your, your coins and your shoelaces and your bits you don't know what to do with. That you think you might need one day and probably thought in seven years' time. You've got a door over there for the for the driver. I, if I had the choice, I don't think I'd even have that. I'd have a bit of, a bit of furniture around, but maybe security reasons, good security reasons, why you want to have a, a door there as well as um, convenience reasons when you only get to a petrol station or something, or you need to ask somebody some directions or whatever. Now the table here, it's uh, that's relatively large for a vehicle of this size. Okay, let's have a walk down to the kitchen. We have got, this is rather standard for bursting a model, so um, if you've seen other films, it's a bit of a repetition of other things I've said in the past. Uh, but the the kitchen itself, it offers, I think, for a seven and a half meter long van, it's, it's, it's quite big. We've got this uh, drainage area, we've got three uh, burners, we've got, you've got this sink here. Uh, we've got elegant uh, cabinets, cabinetry and drawers opening. You press this thing in like that and it comes out like that, it's quite deep. Closes by itself. We've got this here, which opens up like that, slides out. So you've got your paper tea towels there, you've got space there for keeping bottles. Lock it so it doesn't come open when we drive off. We've got same sort of thing here. Obviously, this one is not going to be so um, deep because it's where the sink is. So you can get Get your spare keys or something in there, but you've got your gas. There it goes there. Above it, we've got storage. And you can see that there. Right next to the storage, we've got something up there. I'll explain first more about what that is. Here we've got the coffee pods. Take these out up here like that, go up here, we press press, or drucken in German, 
and up there we've got this coffee machine which comes out like that. Does it work off 12 volts? That is the question because that seems to me to be a 230 volt plug. I don't know the answer. You can get these things in 12 volts. In this case I'm afraid I, I don't know. Maybe it requires the use of an inverter. Storage in the floor. Shower with two plug holes. Plenty of space in there. It's like a domestic shower. Toilet. Close the door, should you so desire. Toilet. There's me. Here's some storage there as well as storage under the sink as well and coming into the back we have got on one side a drawer that comes out like that I, I like these slidey things I think they're really good on the other side We've got some hanging space, we'll close that. Okay, they've put some of their storage stuff in there, which is fair enough. With the trade fair, they've got to put it somewhere. And lockers around the bed. This opens. Uh, pull this up. You can see there is some distance between these slats, which are plastic and the board. I'm quite keen on that one as you may have noticed. I've done films on this subject of mould and how it can form. And here you open them in the middle you've got this and that opens like that. Press that in like that. So this one is up there and that opens like that. Was all this necessary? Probably not, I'd have had a smaller one on. There isn't a lot of room there to sit up, but hey, you're getting um, the lockers instead. If you want to sit up, I suppose you'll sit up at this side. Now, when I had a bed like this, uh, I, I tried sleeping all, all sorts of ways. Uh, that way, I tried sleeping this way. The point of these big beds is because people are getting bigger. So they are, they, that's why they're needed. If you don't want to sleep too close to the person you're sleeping with, you can always put these things in like that. And if you do, you can put the, these things in here. This is a new design, I'm going to show you this. There you go. This here catches onto his. And that felt goes in there. So without the extra piece of uh, was a piece of wood that went in there. Now, I did say yesterday, oh, but does it hold the weight? Well, it does, I tried it out. Bed at the front is electronic, as you can see. I take it up and down, and as always, I need to point out that that is taking some 30 centimeters away from your headroom. Indeed, I have to duck as soon as I hit the bed. What do you think? You like that one or not? Let me know. Well, it's morning. I would, if I wanted to, I could turn everything off from up there, but I'm not going to. As people are coming in, and somebody else might want to see the van. Plenty more here from uh, Burstner and other companies. So the kickoff price is 75,000, and as I said, in this state, this is almost 90,000.